if you woke up today wondering, what is Slater going to talk about on his TV show? If you were thinking, how about epic takedown of 17th, uh, 1700s French philosophers, you win! That's what we're going to do for a half an hour. Buckle up. We're going to talk about how Jean-Jacques Rousseau, specifically uh, his philosophy and how he screwed up uh, everything, specifically our education system today. So, first background question before we get here. First, how is the world broken? There's two schools of thought on this. Obviously, there's more, but for the sake of time, there's two main schools of thought. The first says that corruption originates inside of us. The second thought says that the social structures corrupt us from the outside. Your answer to that question, right, how you feel to that question right there, I can pinpoint if you're a conservative or a progressive with almost perfect accuracy. How you answer that question can almost entirely determine if you're a conservative or a progressive. Ben Sass, his book, uh, The Vanishing American Adult, excellent book. He has a great overview of these two different philosophies. He calls them the realist view and the romantic view. So let's do this real quick. The realist view, that's me, you realize the brokenness and the sinfulness of each man, yourself included. And because of that internal brokenness, therefore you then go do bad and sinful things. So our goal in life, in the Christian view, is to die to self. You deny yourself. You pick up your cross daily so that you can live a good life. The other view is the romantic view of the world uh, and of nature. Enter Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Rousseau, one of the most influential philosophers till today, top, certainly top five. Uh, French guy died in 1778. He's known as the father of the French Revolution, which is not a good thing to be the father of. Uh, Robespierre said that Rousseau is the one man who through the loftiness of his soul and the grandeur of his character showed himself worthy of the role of teacher of mankind. Again, you don't really want accolades from Robespierre. Rousseau rejected the, the realist view of man. He said that the bad things we do, they don't come from inside of us. It's the social external factors that make us bad. Uh, his famous quote is, everything is good as it leaves the hands of the author of things and everything degenerates in the hands of man. Children, therefore, are born good and sweet and innocent and it is society that corrupts them as they get older. These are two completely different <laughs> views of human nature. And for today's show, we're going to focus on, on how that affects children and, and raising children in particular and our education system. If you take the realist view, which again, I do, I see my kids do the wrong thing. They're four months, two and three. And I see them do the wrong thing. I see them hit, have a tantrum, scream when they don't get the, what they want, whatever. And I know Proverbs 22, 15, folly is bound up in the heart of a child. And it is my and my wife's job to unfolly them, to train them the way that they should go, to discipline and to reward and shape and mold our children into properly functioning adults. Right? That's the realist view. If you have the realist view, that's how you view your role as a parent. If you believe the romantic view of parenting, then you believe that the kids are just perfect. And you just need to let them be. You need to free children from the oppressive chains of parenting and, and, and of child rearing. And you need to let your child emerge as the beautiful butterfly that they inherently are. I think we've all seen this beautiful butterfly before, kicking and screaming in the aisles of Target. And we've seen that parent doing their wonderful, Johnny, oh Johnny, please, Johnny, please stop screaming bloody murder. Oh Johnny, oh. Sorry, he's so sweet. Normally, he's such a sweet boy. Okay, Johnny, here's your toy. Please stop. That's the romantic view. So uh, that's the first dot, Rousseau. The second dot to connect us today is John Dewey, 1952. The New York Times in 1952 called him America's foremost philosopher. He is the father of the modern public school system. He took the Rousseauian model and built the public school system as we know it and love it today. He was the head of uh, Columbia's Teachers College. Uh, so he is the guy, the, the most important single figure of how we educate our kids today. And he got his entire philosophy of education from Rousseau. Cool. Four minutes. Keep it going. Who was Rousseau? Who is this guy that we are taking our child rearing and educational advice from? Quick bio. Rousseau came from a very wealthy and powerful family. So he always thought that he himself was hot stuff. Rich, privileged, wasn't successful at 
anything ever. He tried at least and failed at 13 jobs. Uh, at one job, he was the secretary to the French ambassador to Venice. And that guy said that Rousseau was doomed to poverty on account of his vile disposition, his unspeakable insolence, this is rude, his pro the product of his insanity and high opinion of himself, all right? Never got along with anyone and always claimed he was persecuted. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe, we got plenty.